so Freunde, ähm, ich sitze hier im Backstage von Berliner Astra, neben mir Trevor von Obituary und äh, wir sprechen jetzt mal über die Death Crusher Tour. So Trevor, what can you tell me about the tour this far? What uh, was the most special show till today? That's really hard to choose because this tour has been almost sold out every gig. I mean, everyone's been kind of special, really. I mean, I guess maybe London was the London's been the biggest show. It was a 2,300 seat theater, sold out. People were manic. Um, but it's really hard to say, which is special because it's just been every night like a. It's been like a freight train this whole tour. I mean, it's really, we're uh, probably the most manic crowd was in Italy. We were in Bologna a few days ago. Uh, Italy's always known to be kind of crazy as far as the crowd. I mean, they were, from the beginning, for everybody set, that, that night was just, everybody in the crowd was just the biggest circle pits, people chanting from the start to the end of the okay. show. I don't know right. where they get the energy, <laughs> but uh, they were definitely the most manic crowd of the whole tour so far. And I mean, uh, it's a very big lineup or very special lineup, especially for death metal fans. Definitely. I mean, you have Carcass, you have Obituary, you have Napalm Death. What is your connection to the other bands from this lineup? Uh, your personal or as, as a band? Well, well Herod, I've never heard of them. They're a newer band that uh, are actually, they're friends, I guess, with, uh, with Carcass. Okay. That's how they got on the tour. Mm -hmm. And Voivod has done a tour with Napalm, and they kind of got thrown it. I've never seen Voivod or met the guys before, but ironically, the guy playing guitar for him uh, did some shows with Cryptopsy with me oh, okay. years ago. So I, so yeah. we kind of knew each other a little bit, you know. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's cool. I mean, Voivod obviously has been around forever, you know, since I was a teenager. I had friends all, who always loved Voivod. Um, and of course, you know, Napalm Death and us, we go way back. I mean, our first tour together was 1992. And then before that, they recorded an album in Tampa, you know, so we've been friends with them and Carcass, of course, same, same difference. We've been, we've never toured, but well, we toured together last year in uh, America. Yeah. But we've been friends, we've run across each other at festivals for years, so it's been, there's a good connection, you know, yeah. great package. And I mean, uh, all of the years you could, uh, you could uh, have some, you know, different experiences with the European crowd and the US crowd. What is the main difference between Europe and the USA? Uh, I think uh, maybe in general, I think European crowds are more maybe open-minded about metal as far as the different genres. Like it seems like in the US, if you like black metal, you like black metal and you don't okay. stray too far from there. Or if you like death metal, that's what you're into. You yeah. Know? I mean, some kids like everything, of course, everywhere, but it definitely seems kids are more, they're into their one little thing, you know, like the kids who like deathcore. That's all they want to hear. They don't know other okay. stuff. But over here, it seems like you'll see somebody with, you know, a Celtic Frost back patch and they'll have an Iron Maiden t-shirt on, mm. which is cool, you know. So I think it, it's definitely a broader open-mindedness here, okay. I would say, in general, okay. to and generalize. Okay, and are you in other genre? Do you listen to other genre like black metal? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, I, since I've been a kid, I, I, mean, I was listening to Black Sabbath and Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and, and uh, jumped into Slayer after that, Celtic Frost. So I like a broad horizon of uh, metal for sure. Um, never got into like deathcore and some of the newer styles okay. too much. Uh, black metal. Like modern stuff, I don't know. I guess I mean I love Venom. I guess you can call them black metal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I think Immortals Killer. You know, they're great. They're not. I guess they're not that. Did new, you hear you know? some some new yeah. stuff from the from Abba from the Soul Project? Yeah, actually, we just played with them in uh, Tokyo. Ah, okay. At the uh, Loud Park. Okay. Yeah, it reminded me of Immortal actually, yeah. musically speaking. Yeah. You know, yeah, we're pretty good friends. We've toured together a couple times. Okay. 